What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Buffy the Vampire Slayer here in this video again here today. So today marks the 25th anniversary of Welcome to the Hellmouth airing on the WB Network back in 1997. And of course this will of course mean it's the 25th anniversary since the Buffyverse has been in existence and been out there for millions of people to enjoy for countless years. And very first time we were introduced to the characters of Buffy xander willow giles cordelia and many other important pieces of a puzzle that came together within that first initial season which was more along on the campy side but then grew into this monster of a show that has been riddled with a lot of important life lessons that still remain relevant today you had these great characters that you spent seven seasons with you had sarah michelle geller just portraying this absolute iconic character on screen this complete reversal of what you are accustomed to seeing if you were someone who grew up with a lot of horror movies prior to that show debuting because that type of character that uh, Buffy was was the type of character that and I think Joss Whedon mentions this that's the type of character you would you would see get killed in horror movies but I think this also came from the idea of wanting to flip that on its head and what happens when the girl fights back and which is what Buffy the Vampire Slayer is essentially is and of course it does act as a very lengthy sequel if you want to look at it that way to that original film Joss Whedon was also a part of with Christy Swanson in the role but Buffy the Vampire Slayer again is 25 years old today and this show still is very important it's very relevant it still is talked about in a lot of educational environments of uh, different podcasts exist for it I myself do certain videos sometimes about the series and go into little uh, quips about it and I still have my intent of finishing up those reviews of the seasons I'm still on my rewatch at this point in time my new rewatch I do a rewatch every year I'm about to start season two up again so after I get done rewatching season four I'll have a season four review up and hopefully finish out five six and seven and hopefully start doing just a lot more in the in the realm of this show and diving into certain things that mean a lot to me about it and I know I recently had a video about the body because there's so many different impactful episodes that relate to life and just important things that everyone can take from these episodes and just carry on with you forever and then still revisit this universe so many years later and have those same lessons just hit home so hard because if you're someone like myself who grew up at a very young age catching these last two three seasons when they were on tv and then growing up and getting to experience some of those things that those people who were older than you at the time getting to experience it getting to experience some of that in your own teenage years and early adulthood that show now more than ever just means so much to me it's a source of comfort Buffy Summers is one of my comfort characters Sarah Michelle Gellar again she does an incredible job in that role for the entire seven season run I know there are some people out there who think the show should have ended at season five I can say that five would have been a perfect end to the series but I'm not disappointed by the fact that we got two more seasons does that mean season seven is good I don't want to say that season seven is season seven it, it is very it's it's very good at having its highs but also very good at unfortunately having some very major lows but then you have that incredible finale the chosen episode which i in and of itself can say that you know the the big massive cavern of demons inside of it which we were told about was not really what was there is mostly just the army of Turrican with the first leading it that was down there and it wasn't this portal because I know in the earlier season they described the Hellmouth as being a portal between earth and several hell dimensions I would like to know where in that cavern a portal was or if that's just was completely ignored because we basically got a, a giant cave underground with a lot of demons in it which made for a very impactful emotional and very uh full circle finale with some very important arcs for Buffy coming full circle this whole theme of her just feeling like she has the weight of the world on her shoulders being lifted after so many seasons of feeling like that feeling alone in the fight against evil and she has this look ahead of her with that smile she gives at the end of the episode with that look of knowing that she now has a chance to live hopefully what is somewhat of a normal life I guess if you want to call it that fighting demons but not having to worry about being in it alone and the characters that we got introduced to along the way these new slayers like faith played by eliza dushku and just the characters like kendra played by bianca lawson and these other different vampires we got introduced like angel played by david borinaz and then spike played by uh james marsters so many characters that had per very incredible arcs and character progressions throughout the series but 
people I'm thinking of right now in particular are Spike, Cordelia, Anya, and Spike, Cordelia, Anya. I can't think of the other person. Buffy's one of them. Spike, Cordelia, Anya, Buffy, and yeah, I'm going blank on who the last person was, but I put out a tweet about it earlier today. But those characters I'm, that I'm thinking of, they are characters that I feel like have such great progressions because they start off in these kind of uh, evil doer type of roles, I'll just say, mostly that being Spike and Anya. Cordelia is more along the sides of just being a mean, rich girl, but then they grow into these symbols of heroism and they get their they get these heroic moments that kind of just speak to how far they've come and it's so beautiful to see when it happens for all of the characters when it does happen and it just is it speaks to a lot of the fact that life is a journey where you start isn't always what matters but where you end will be probably something that a lot of people will remember you mostly for and the stuff in between will be talked about of course but it's not how you start it's how you end and i think those character progressions with certain characters who were very evil in the start but finished out very positive and very heroic in the end that speaks to a lot of what buffy is all about which is navigating life but using demons and all these other monsters as metaphors to represent certain life problems like we get in season one the way the story was structured for the other seasons with the monster of the week but you have this ultimate big bad that was going over the entire season culminating into a satisfying finale most of the time and i think that's what a lot of tv shows today struggle with because i know that tv shows today they don't really know how to handle a season that's 20 episodes long they will have episodes that feel like filler they're kind of just going through the motions none of the episodes feel important but shows like Buffy and Angel they did it so tremendously in the late 90s early 2000s a lot of other shows prior to that but I think a lot of TV shows couldn't do that anymore so now we have this 12 arc 8 episode arc stuff that we get these days but I just want to come in here and, and kind of geek out about Buffy since it's the 25th anniversary and go over how important that show is to me and talk about some characters of mine that I think are very important let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn post notification and there's a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video